Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. This is episode 24 and today we're going to be doing a planet slash world system. So if you've played Adventure Capitalist, you've seen Earth, Mars, and the Moon. That's kind of like what we're going to be doing. Except for our planets, ours are going to be different game modes. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications if you're new. And uh, let's see. Let's come I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to come up with a question every day for a video. So what should today's be? Um, what is your favorite mobile idle game? Comment that below and I'll be sure to respond to those. Okay, let's get on with it. So I've already made my, <laughs> yeah, we got more buttons going on, but I have my planets thing going on. So maybe in another video I can do like redo the navigation thing because this is kind of messy, right? <laughs> so, uh, okay, so I've added my planets button and I made an empty planet screen make sure it's stretched through the entire canvas like so and now I'm gonna do something like I did for the rebirth screen where it's on top of the or it's not on top but actually it'll probably be just like settings maybe no wait why are the settings like this okay well I guess I'll just shift these down real quick um, all right so I'm gonna add an image to this planet screen image and then in here, I already have a pre, I already have a, a space background, so you can do whatever you want. I'd suggest you to make your own instead of using a, a, a one that you can find on uh, Google or find one that's copyright free. Okay. So this is very ugly looking. So I guess what we can do, can we slice it? Oh, we can do t uh, tiled. Let's do tiled. Will this work? Cool. Yeah, we'll do tiled. And you can just zoom in there however you want. Now this is not the best way. I'd rather just have a picture pre-ready for this. But I think this looks just fine. In fact, I'm actually going to make it a little darker. Okay. We have our planet screen. Uh, we, for, uh, we need a back button too. So in our rebirth we have a back button. So we'll just copy that back. Okay. And now let's add a nip. Oh, let's add a nip. Yeah. I can't talk. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay, let's add a planet. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We have our planet right here. Now you can add a Mars or whatever you want. And f just for the video, I can add a second one real quick. All right, so let's rename this to Earth. Copy and paste this, and then we'll add our Mars. Here we go. Ignore this. So yeah, here's our Mars icon. I think it looks pretty good, in my opinion. I don't do... Uh, pixel art and I'm pretty satisfied with Mars. I think I like it a lot better than Earth. I don't know. It just looks nicer um, Actually, it doesn't have a red glow. So let's export this as a PNG too. It's because what happens sometimes with uh, Photoshop files is if you use them in unity for some reason the glows just turn out white I'm or more white rather than the color they're supposed to I don't exactly know why that happens, but it's a little annoying So if you anything with glows, I'd suggest you just export as a PNG that's kind of the downfall of PSD files. While if you don't have it, you can directly edit them in Photoshop and it'll automatically update in Unity. So, all right, let's change the icons. There you go, that's much better. So here is our Mars. And this one will be a little smaller, right? And we can just put that like right here. <laughs> Do whatever you want, you can add a line right here. Let's see, do we have a do we have a square image? I doubt it, but let's just check. Oh, we can just do this. Cool. We can have a little skinny line connect them or something. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. You can do whatever you want for that, but I'm just going to connect them like so. And let's have some interface. So let's add a text inside. No, not an image, a text. Okay. So we'll just call this Earth. So let's say Earth is actually our main location, right? So let's say that's Earth. Let's change the text. Why is that so small? And so you can actually read it. Let's add an outline. No. Why? I didn't even search that. Okay. There we go. We have Earth. I'm going to make it. I'm going to add a border of two. And this will be the name of the planet and then in here we can have a currency so we'll have we have our coins right here 
Now, let's center these because I don't think we need anything else here. If you want to provide more information, that is completely up to you. And so my goal here is to have Mars boost Earth in a way, right? The coin that, or the, the coins per second. So let's have, let's copy another one of these and put it right here. E, I'm gonna call this EM connect for Earth to Mars. You can call it whatever you want. And this will be the EM boost. And basically, I, if I want to do this eventually, if you guys want me to do more, I can add another planet where it just does the same thing, but another planet to Mars, which I could, I'll just do moon, because that's like the only other pixel art I have. Um, Alright, so this will be 0x coins, or coins per second. Alright, that looks just fine to me. And then in Mars, let's just connect the, the text for that. And this will be Mars. Now let's come up well, for the coins. I'm going to change this to, I don't know, you can be unique. But I'm going to do, like, I could do like Martian coins. But I don't really know any like interesting. You can just do Mars tokens. I don't know. You, you can be as creative as you like with this. However, this is the best I can come up with right now. There we go. We have our basic interface. So Earth will be a Mars, which will basically just go to Mar or Earth. So we have our main screen right here. Oh, okay. So you know what we're going to have to do? So since this is Earth, we're going to have to create another we're going to have to create another canvas. So let's just copy main screen, turn that on, and then delete everything inside it. Stretch to full screen. Zero, 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 zero. Put it up here, and this will be Earth. Because Mars is going to be its own thing, right? With its own prestige. So Earth will consist of everything except planets. Events screen. We can add, this could be a button uh, that could be accessed outside. So daily events could be right there too. So we kind of got to plan ahead of this. So what buttons do we not want to include? So we want main achievement screen. That could be like a like an earth thing. Prestige, rebirth, autos. Okay. And now for buttons, we want everything except for events. Okay. So if we want to go to Mars, we will just go to Mars. Cool. So let's copy and paste this. <laughs> the entire earth place says Mars. So now it will have the planets button as well, right? And the events button right here. We can have we can have our own events buttons. So we can readjust that. So just copy and paste the events button and put it to Mars. And I'm only I think I don't want to get too much into adding another planet because I don't want this to be an extremely long video. But I could just do further videos where we do more things with this. All right, so we want to keep everything except for event, or we want to delete everything except for main events, planets, and let's turn off Earth. And we only need a main screen, which is this. Okay, now Mars, we're gonna add a background, which I'm gonna go grab right real quick. Cool. So now let's put image and Mars BG. So this is another Crypto Clickers background that I already have already. So yeah, please design your own. Uh, so we have main, daily events, planets. Now this seems a little too bright. 192, perfect. Wow, how did I get that so perfect? I literally just guessed. Okay. Uh, okay, so we need another header, right? So this header will be the Earth header. So we're going to copy this header and throw it in Mars because we're going to have a completely different thing. So you can have another add button here, but I'm just going to delete this. Events token go, can go here. So planet screen will cover everything. So we, we need to fix this then. So that should work. What happens if we rescale it? Does it work? Oh, I... Oh, uh, it... Hmm. 
doesn't this again this is like mobile so you you do your background this is what mine's go i guess we'll do <laughs> it doesn't work perfectly on vertical but this looks fine for now okay so we don't need to be in a fence or a plant screen so hopefully if you're if you're lost this is what the hierarchy looks like right now just make sure you're on track i'll keep that open um so header we don't need we don't have gems right now so we can just hide those and tokens text we'll just keep those and i guess for coins we can just throw this right in the middle cool so this is mars coins right so we'll just do mars coins we can change the color make it pretty and then this will be our mars coins per second or you can just do m coins per second however you like m coins per second that but we're just gonna do Mars coins per second okay here we go we have our main setup going on right here um, so in the main screen we are not gonna do prestige so let's just ditch that the full reset is already binded with the full reset so we can keep that here or put it in the settings this honestly should be in the settings in the first place so let's add that button to the settings and delete it in the in the main screen from earth full reset so just get rid of that so then when you go to settings it's right there as it should be okay so we don't have anything here to do so let's just make let's make an invisible click button can we do that let's do this <laughs> let's make this entire mars this is this main screen okay let's stretch this main screen while we're at it Zero, 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 zero. Where is this prestige button now? Is it still there? No, it's right there. Okay, we'll just hide that. Okay, click button. Let's make our Mars our click button. Now, you don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna do it because it looks cool. So, let's do... Instead here, we can multiply our coins. So, we can start with one. So, we can just do something like that I think that's interesting we can yeah let's change things up okay let's make this big <laughs> I think this looks good so far so now if we click this it should multiply your initial coins so let's hop right into the script so here let's create an empty to divide the earth between uh, the earth stuff so the methods, uh, we can get the upgrade, achievement, automator, rebirth, prestige, game. So the game is still going to be like the main one. So I guess we can just get these ones. And let's create another empty. Called Mars. And we will create the script as this is what we should have done at the beginning. This is why planning a game is very important. So you actually know how to struct, how to like get your code structure correct the first try because otherwise I would have done earth manager and Mars manager but we're gonna do Mars manager so everything in Mars is gonna be ran off of the Mars manager instead of the game manager okay so let you need creates a thing and then we will get started so we're gonna use the same data the player data class for our stuff but we will just separate it between the earth and the and the Mars things so yeah all right, so we are currently in our Mars Manager and we gotta do our normal duties, which is import the using Unity engine dot UI namespace. Okay, and we gotta get the break infinity and I bet we're going to be using static break infinity dot big double for the math stuff. Okay, so let's start with our save related things. So we have our regions divided here. Let's see. So events this can go to the bottom so let's I'm gonna clean this up real quick okay so I have added sections for pretty much everything and we can do it here but I don't want to uh, exhaust you so I'll do that in like a cut so we can close everything here so actually you know what let's I'm gonna I'm gonna reformat this real quick too
Okay. Okay, so we have everything split it up, so this will be much easier in the long run. So make sure you do that because we can just close everything we don't need to access. And that makes our script look much shorter when you're opening it up. So anyways, let's add another region. Uh, it's called Bitcoin. So you do that by doing hashtag region and then the hashtag end region. Then you can close it just like that. Very neat. So in Bitcoin, all we really have is the, the, the click value, which is going to be one. And it's going to be based on an equation here. Okay. Because we're going to do it the correct way, right? So there is no per second. So it's just multiplying so we're gonna have our public big double because it's multiplying so obviously it's gonna get big and then here and then what we can do eventually is some add some kind of like soft cap because if it's gonna multiply it's gonna go pretty fast right or you can make it go really fast on purpose and it makes it really fun right and that's why big double is helpful here we have to risk that um anyway so this will be mars coins and this is the only save thing we're gonna add here today Okay, so hashtag region Mars. Oh, I did. Yeah, I named this Bitcoin. I meant to put this Mars. Sorry, I did this for my game. So I'm just like crypto clickers, crypto clickers, crypto clickers. And we're going to set coins to one because we're multiplying it or else if it's zero, we can't multiply it ever. Hashtag end region. There you go. So we can close this stuff too, since we don't need to access it or change anything. We could also obviously just close this, but I'm just closing everything else just to make it easier when I come up and just want to change one thing at a time. And we're done with these. Let me add a region for events. Okay. See how much easier this is to read? It's like it's so much easier. Now we can go to our Mars manager. Let's add a text. We only need to access one text, which is Mars coins text. Public void. Um, we need to do navigation after this. So public void update. And we're going to have a game object, which will be controlled. I mean, we should have a nap. Let's have a navigation manager. So. We'll do that. We'll add an if statement once we do that. So Mars coins text dot text is equal to dollar sign. So our thing is still being accessed in our in right here. So we're just going to do public idle tutorial game game. And then we're going to do var data equals game dot data because we will be using this in the future. Then here, all you gotta do is put data.marscoins. And let's do methods dot method dot. Wait, what is it? Oh, it's methods dot notation method. F2. And we should be good. Okay, so now we need to click. We need to click. So let's do public void uh, click. You name it whatever you want. We can just do click planet. And basically, this is just going to multiply by, and we're going to change this later on. Just remember that. So data, game.data. Let's do var data. Var data equals game.data. Data.marscoins is times equals 1.01. .01. There we go. Okay, so this should work, but we need to get the navigation down. So in here... We need to add another tab, a change tabs. And we're gonna have to add this to the Mars manager too. So let's add a planet group. And this will be called planets. And let's copy and paste this first. And then search. Let's add that canvas planet group okay cool so let's copy and paste this into here obviously we can just reference it in our game but we're just gonna uh no we don't need this right now 
Okay, so we need a planet manager because we want to manage both of these at the same time. Okay. So let's see, planet manager or planet button from both Earth and Mars are going to do the exact same thing. So we're just going to change them to planets and that will both access the planet screen. Our game manager, we need to add the planet screen. All right, so now we need to have uh, create empty planet manager. Mm, planet manager. Now this will just be a short script to, uh, this will be like the central point between all the other ones. And we'll use this in here, okay? So just uh, ignore all that for now. But all we need is the Unity Engine namespace and the Unity Engine.ui namespace. So let's add a public canvas Earth and a public canvas Mars. That's the only thing we need. And we what we can do here is do public idle tutorial game game. And then we can just uh this for on disable all we can just do game dot main menu group. Oh no, it's planets group. Game dot playing uh planets group dot game object set equals false, which we already have right here. And now we only have two, so we can just get rid of the rest. Which will be Earth and Mars. I don't know what this is. Okay. And this one will be labeled Earth. And this one will be Mars. Cool. And that is it for navigation. Pretty easy, right? <laughs> if you just want to add more planets, you just got to make that list longer. So, yeah. Mars, Earth, and our main game. And I believe that is it. So, now what about Mars? Oh, shoot. We need to make a new game object that's empty it's got nothing in it and then put Mars manager in it just for organization cool and we'll put game in here and our Mars coins text which will be in the header booyah after this we'll get the boosting things going on so let's turn off Mars and turn on earth so we can see if this works and turn on main screen I expect this to work this was not that hard to make Okay, planets. So now I can show you how to do scroll rec too because we, we can't do that right now. And we gotta add the text here. So Mars coins, let's click on it. It doesn't do anything. It's because we haven't actually done the planets yet. But since we're in here, we can test the planet screen real quick. Since these are buttons. Now actually, no, let's do this off. So we can only do this once. Add a button. Uh, click on the plus, drag planet manager to it, and do change tabs while Earth will be Earth and Mars will be Mars. So let's add those texts real quick in our planet manager. So I guess that's two more things we need to do. So we have our public text, uh, Earth coins text, we have our Mars coins, we also have our em boost text which is earth to mars okay so we will run this in its own update because it's not related to earth or mars directly again that's just how i'm organizing it you can do it differently you can do everything update or you can do everything in the main script like uh everything calls like the run method if that makes sense so we need to add mars here Oh, actually, no, we don't need to because it's in our data, right? So our Earth coins is going to be equal to, um, let's do var data equals game.data. So we can simplify this. So data dot, oh, right. <laughs> Got to add the curly braces. So data dot coins, and we can add game, game dot no, uh, that's methods methods dot notation i don't know what happened here but it totally just screwed up <laughs> data dot coins there we go and then we'll just put the f2 
And after that, we will put coins. There we go. Now for Mars, it's the same thing, except with Mars coins. Mars coins. And there we go. So now we haven't figured out the boost thing yet, which we will do next. So, should be good. Okay, so we have our tabs good. We need to add our text from the planet screen. So we have EM connect, so we have Earth, we have the coins, coins, and our boost is right here, which currently doesn't do anything. Cool. This all should be a hit, successful game. Now it's got more planets, which we all love. There we go, see, pretty. So now we can go to Mars. You can go back. Now back really just, I think this just turns off the screen. What does the back button even do? Oh, it just goes to main. So let's just turn this off. So you only need that, right? So I think we need to turn, we need to make planets go, uh, we need to make it go to main. So, cause it turns everything off. So we'll just do main.planet group. No, it's game.main group equals true all right while Mars will do the exact same thing okay so let's go to Mars cool so now this should multiply doesn't seem like it is yet I don't think I've applied the click yet yep I haven't oh wait I have but it's the wrong click okay so let's let that apply our changes and it should work properly and then we're just gonna drag this Mars manager and replace it with our own click, which will be click planet. And this should work. Now the thing I need to do is add like another events token button to our Mars. There you go. Now this should start multiplying. So if we start clicking a lot, if we get our auto clicker, actually, I don't, yeah, let's get our auto clicker. If we change this to one. Uh, it's too fast. Oh, wait, no, it's too slow. Now, this should start multiplying, right? So you can literally just keep this going, and it'll eventually get to really high numbers because it's multiplying. So that's kind of the issue. So maybe what we can do is add an equation for the multiplier where it kind of just slows it down so you're not increasing it to build, like, tons of numbers. See, we're already at E3, right? And it only took maybe a few hundred clicks to get there. But you can see that kind of, that will grow, right? So we'll kind of have to limit that. All right. So let's go to our planet screen. It should show. Yes, indeed, it does. So now we need to get the coins per second boost. So here, what we can do is add a big double. Public big double. EM boost. And let's set this. Uh, let's just be basic. Let's do log. 10 oh right we don't have break infinity yet no this is planet manager uh we can do all the boost stuff here let's do that so let's go out let's go here and just copy everything so just like that so then we can just do log 10 and uh I feel like log 10 is a lot, so let's just do log 20. And then we will do. Squ we're going to do squirt, square root of game.data plus one. Because if it's zero, then we're just going to get bad, evil numbers. And this, is it. this should be Mars coins plus one. And this will also be a plus one because it starts at zero, log starts at zero, even though the plus one is in here, right? This just prevents it from going, to, from being NAN at zero, okay? Let's apply this to our text. And this just basically EM boost. Uh, no, nope, we're gonna do methods dot notation method. And then we're gonna put our EM boost F2. And then here we're gonna do new line coins per second, right? And there we go. Let's uh let's go to our main script right here. 
and let's add our planet manager. Planet manager, planets. And we need to go to our coins per second. Where is that? Total coin, coins per second. We're just gonna do temp times equal planets dot em boost. Piece of cake, right? So now this should start to work. And this should have saved two. I think that's all we need. I don't even. Oh yeah, we need to apply Planet Manager. Good thing I didn't look. Good thing I checked for that because I would have forgotten. Okay. So we are getting twelve per second. What about Planet? So we're getting two point four times. So let's see, twelve per second. So let's just keep clicking away, right? Let's just have our auto clicker go. Oh, did I close it? Come on. So we can just keep clicking away. So we get 2.44, 30, yep, so it's going up. So that works. So now what I'm gonna do, this will be like a kind of a, like a sub part of the series. So where I'll just do like, like the next video, if I wanted to do planet upgrades, like from Mars, I will do like planet slash upgrades or something like that or mars slash upgrades so whatever you think it's best just let me down below um anyways i i think this is it for the video i mean oh scroll wrecked let's do that real quick so let's turn on our planet screen now let's add a ui scroll view so what we can do is get rid of these scroll bars because I really don't like them and this will just be our scroll or yeah and this will just be our panel I like to call it panel and our content is just whatever is inside right so let's just make the scroll stretch the screen zero 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 I can get rid of this ugly ass background too and let's add a mask because we don't want anything outside showing even though that really doesn't matter and I forgot we need to delete this back button. Okay, so now we have a panel. So what's, what is this planet screen? What is this image in the center? Is this the main canvas? Huh, I don't know what that is. Okay, but anyways, we will put our everything in here, our connect, the boost, everything in the panel uh okay show mass graph why is that not working oh that's it's here why is that here okay that was weird i always put my mask in here so i guess that's not how that works oh content oh wait right we gotta put our rect transform so our yeah that's this right here our content no our content is here and our viewport is here so their setup is a bit whack we're just gonna get rid of this so now if we move this panel around, oh man, it doesn't work. Why does that not work? Okay, so I found the reason why. The really, the reason why is because this, you can't have the alpha to the zero. So you can just have it like the slightest amount of, so you can just do 0 0.01, even though you kind of see, actually you don't. What am I seeing? This back, oh, this background, we can just put none. So if we put zero, I'm trying to get, find a way to get rid of this ugly ass gray oh is it because of this right here yeah we don't need this image there we go so let's make the panel um be as big as we want so we can just have it like this put it dead in the center like so and this should work see if you the mask is applying like that cool so now if we save that this should, everything should work perfectly also you should uh, make sure you keep this um, like that. You can change your scroll sensitivity. Let's do 10, even though I only scroll vertically. But that's okay. Because I'm assuming most of our stuff's going to be up and down anyways. So now we can... So we can drag things around. Cool. So now let's say we don't want this um, to... Let's see. Let's see. We want it really slippery. We can just increase the deceleration rate. Basically, it gets faster if you set it to a really high number. See how it's getting like faster? So if we keep moving it, let's see, it eventually slows down, but you can see how it kind of just goes really fast. If you want no acceleration rate, oh shoot, that broke it. Where'd it go? Oh no, it's gone. Ah, oh, it's NAN, okay. Shoot, 
it's gone. <laughs> it's long gone. Okay, so don't set your deceleration rate to negative. So set it to like 0 0.01. All right, so if we do that, you can see how it slows down much faster. If we do zero, oh, see how it just like stops instantly. So that's what zero is, except for the edge. We can turn that, we can do that. Is that inertia? No, that's not. So let's say you don't want it to do that. You can just turn off inertia. So here's our scroll. Our scroll is very weak. We can just turn that to 100 and it looks pretty good, right? Um, so yeah, let's have inertia off. I think that looks just fine, to be honest, if you're dragging a map. Yeah, that looks much better. And elasticity, let's set that to zero so then it just doesn't do that. Now, if you want it to, you can set it to like, let's see, what happens if a really high number? It should be like, so it's not as sensitive. See how it's very slow when it pulls back? <laughs> it's very slow, that's what elasticity is. We could set it to 0 0.1, I think that's what we should have it at. Now what happens if we do 0 0.01? I bet that'll look kind of stupid. Yeah, that's the same thing as having it. Let's just have it as 0 0.2. I think just, I like the smooth look of it. But yeah, anyways, here is our scroll rect and their plant system, our planet system. Cool. I think everything looks great. I think you guys are ready to get rolling with that. Now, I will do some videos on this subject, such as another prestige system, which we all love, right? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget the question I asked earlier. What is your favorite mobile idol game? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and turn on notifications if you and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Anyways, have a good one. Peace.